struggle to get it. That's why I wanted to get it. That's embedded. You get it? Treat it like the law. And I'ma need commission for this hit. Last laid the canvas and I painted over it. I don't need a vision board to show you I'm the. I'm betting on myself. Count the chips. Got it. Made some choices for a profit. That's my logic. I'ma take it to the coffin. Just being honest. Try to sing my shit like Titanic and leave me with Jack. Hope I be panicking, but I rose to the top. Isn't it funny that the is built like a Maserati? Yoga folding like origami. Run. I walk the walk. I talk the talk. I be saying what I want. When I had no deposit, closet was looking real bare. Now I made a deposit. My closet's looking super rare. Ah, uh, drove it really far. Crazy how did just happen? Wishing on a star. It's a celebration. I ain't talking Mardi Gras. With the little patience, you'll be eating. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. Jets taking on the Washington Commanders. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Washington Commanders and the New York Jets. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. Meanwhile, for visiting Washington, they come in off a loss last time out, but still in the midst of a great season. Winners of eight of their last ten. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. see the closed fist of the referee and that means fourth down just a one yard pickup on the play and that'll bring up fourth down so opening drive three straight runs unable to pick up the first I know the fans want to see first downs but guess what the coaches have reasons for what they're doing sometimes they've scripted it and some of these runs while they haven't been successful now they may be successful later on on is the punter man as he boots this one away on the NFL scoreboard, an update from up in Seattle. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Back 
back to throw. Rich. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Off the play fake. Rich. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. An agile move and a nice gain, then dropped at the 25-yard line. The numbers there for Brown from a week ago. 21 carries, 94 yards, and a score. Has nine rushing touchdowns on the season, so a lot of credit has to go to the rest of the offense because you know those big guys up front are doing work. But now the goal is to get to 10. And don't for a second think that the defense doesn't know that. They'd like to do their best to keep them out of the end zone in this one. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 12-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by McManus is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC as the Jets come back out on offense. A CD after this game, there will be four weeks left in the regular season. So this is far from the final version of what we'll see come January, more of a first draft, if you will, as all these teams fight for a better position. And you pointed it out so accurately there, Brandon. After this game, four weeks left in the regular season, and then the playoffs officially begin. But for some teams trying to fight to make it to the playoffs, they're actually in a playoff push right now. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Hall again on second down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Here's Wilson to throw. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The teams practice their plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game, and they hit that one there for big yardage. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Running left, it's Hall. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Hall again on second down. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Now it's Wilson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle's going to leave him about a yard or so short. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. An inside give, Brown. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. 11 more on that one and another first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Back to throw. Rich being chased out left. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking to throw. Rich. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. This is Brown going up the middle. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Operating from the gun, Rich. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Commanders are once again back in front. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. No run back here for Reed, so this will come out to the 25. Well, once again, here comes Garrett Wilson in the Jets' offense. Well, he's within shouting distance of a thousand-yard season. Going to need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time. It and this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A gain of 32 that time. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. He's the 10-7 our score after one, right here on EA Sports. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 25-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. 
And give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Second and 11 now. Wilson into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Commanders will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. He had the touchdown strike on that last drive, number 35 for him on the year. And he'll go in search of number 36 here as his guys start first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, Rich. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. To throw on second down. Rich, this to McLaurin out on the left side. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Here's a give to Brown. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Back to throw. Rich trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching the bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? After the interception, here's Wilson. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. On third down, here's Hall. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times, that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play.
They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. Uh, the D brought the house, they called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want, they go right to the blitz, and in this case, they nailed it, got right to the quarterback, no chance on that fourth down. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. Throwing on first down. Rich eluding the pressure right. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. 15 yards the pickup, first down Washington. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a give, left side, Brown with it. And room there to work it inside the 25. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Another run for Brown on second down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Looking to throw on second down. Rich over the middle, open is Thomas. 70th catch for him on the year, and like so many others, this goes for a first down. Brown. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Gibson. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. This Jet defense so far standing tall. They need another stop now, third and goal. Robinson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. But let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? your two-point conversion plays because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. The kick by McManus is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. 
And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points. In and now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And the commanders are going to take possession of the football. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. And time again to see Terry McLaurin in the Washington offense. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. On first and 10, Rich. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. To throw on second down. Rich. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. From four yards out. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead now stands at 13. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Jets' offense now works their way back onto the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively.
Looking to throw on second down. Rich. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards at a first. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Rich throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll complete this to Gibson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. First down, Rich looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. So that a free 15 yards. And it's always a tough one as a defender because a lot of the penalties that you commit, pass interference, holding, when they happen, you actually know what you're doing. But a face mask penalty? A lot of times it's inadvertent, but it still costs you the same amount of yardage. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. The Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the gun on third down, Rich. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. On 
first down, Wilson. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing again on second down. Wilson, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This pass out wide to Hall. 50. From midfield now, here's Wilson. There's Hall bringing in another one. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Wilson will throw again. Open man is Uzama. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep the deficit at 20. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly, where you see the final score there. Jalen Hurts leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And right now, they have the lead over the visiting Dolphins. Mike Williams, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they trail the visiting Chicago Bears. A couple of touchdown strikes there from Justin Fields. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. The Commanders up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. But they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. Looking to throw. Rich buying time to his left. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Carter to start the drive. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Wilson. Over the middle complete. That's Carter. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Uh -huh. 
On first and ten, it's Carter. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now it's Wilson. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 34-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to the ground with Carter. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Second and 11 now. Wilson got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. To throw is Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 17-yard line. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A give, Carter running right. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Here's the ex-Florida Gator, LaMichael P. Ryan. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Throwing is Wilson. This is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now Wilson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Carter. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. I thought they were on to something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Out of the gun, here's Wilson. 
Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and it'll be fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Seibert able to knock this one through, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Another run on second down with Carter. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line, 15-yard line. Third and two, now Wilson. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And he is gonna have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now Wilson on first down. The quick slant caught. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. The Commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. Back to throw. Wilson. And it's caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. 
They'll run it with Pirine. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So the defensive front holding strong there on fourth and inches. And how about the battle of big people up front? That turned into a leverage game, didn't it? Defensive linemen, they won it. Lower than the offensive guys, pushed them back, knifed through, and made a great play. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Looking to throw. Rich. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Completes it to Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Rich, flush to his right, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw again. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. They'll look to throw again. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They got a completion there. That's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very, <laughs> hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on a passing play. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun, eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A give up the middle to Gibson. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach,